Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to my summer car. It's late afternoon. It's another lovely day. Uh, the plan for today is to go and recover a vehicle. Another wreck. We've already recovered one. This one is a little bit harder to get to. Um, well, it's not hard to get to. It's kind of hard to, to get out of the ditch that it's in. Let's just get the glow plugs going. Uh, double check our supplies. We've got some drink. We've got a bit of food. We got a sledgehammer, which we don't need, but we'll keep it. We've got some diesel. I think we've got, yeah, a full tank. We can sleep in the back of the truck now, thanks to a recent update. Make sure we're neutral. And we'll start the, the truck. The only downside is... Put the axle down, a bit of stability. Uh, the only downside is that when we recover this thing, it's we're probably going to have to sleep, or the mechanic will be closed anyway. And he doesn't open on the weekend. So we're not going to be able to sell it straight away, which means we're probably going to have to go and do sewage jobs on Saturday and kind of be on the road a little bit. We can go up to the town. Um, actually, we're going to have our parts delivered maybe as well, if we ordered any. I can't remember. Um, hmm, but we won't have the money to buy them, so rip. Yeah, we're going to have to get a bit of food. We're a bit low on cash, so until we sell this wreck or do some sewage jobs... Actually, we'll be fine for money. We can do sewage runs on the way. If I can remember who wanted emptying. I remember there was a guy down near the... Um, near the log guy. There's, he needs emptying. There was a guy in Lop, but I don't know which one it was. And there was a guy back at the main town. So we've got 1,200 mark out of each of those, potentially. Uh, and then as soon as we can sell this thing, probably on Monday, we'll have another, I don't know, 3, 4k, I don't know how much it is. I think this one's a little bit more valuable than the first one we recovered, because it's a bit harder to get to. So yeah, earning money all weekend, we could be out on the road. It would be kind of nice, like thinking about this, it would be kind of nice if... When we drive our truck up to the main town, it would be great in the game if you could just take a little boat back to your island. Uh, because the only the only way you can get to your island is by boat, and the only boat that you have is back at your house. Which basically restricts you uh, to, how to how you can get to your island. It would be nice if he would put either more boats around the lake, or even if you had to pay for it, like it was like 100 mark to hire a boat for the day. I wouldn't mind that, as long as I can... Um, Let's cut across. I want to cut across that bit. I hate this turn here in the truck. There we go. I just want to be able to take a boat back to the island from different places. Put it that way. Oh, hello! Yeah, you lose. <laughs> You're going to lose that fight, pal. See you later, bro. <laughs> Rip you. Yeah, there's one thing about the truck. is You're, you're pretty much immune to that guy. You can't go through the windshield like you can in your car. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Rip, rip, rip. Hang on. Let's get into a low gear. I got this. I got this. We're out of here. Phew. That wasn't fun. Um, yeah. Unlike in your car where if you hit that guy, you'll just die. Or hit a tree, you'll die. Unless you get the seat belt and harness and everything, in which case you won't die, but your car will be a very expensive repair job. Uh, in the truck, you don't have to worry about repair bills, and you don't have to worry about dying, because pretty much neither of those things happen. It is quite fun being in the truck. Apart from losing it like that, you feel pretty safe. Right, now there, on the right there, is the, the barn that had the first truck in it, the first wreck in it that we recovered, if you remember, many moons ago, a few episodes ago now. Uh, ouch, that was my steering wheel. Further down, so we're going to go down here, then we should have a bit of a right turn coming. Oh yeah, over the train track. Oh, by the way, that train track down there, you can actually travel down the tunnel. Um, it's not very exciting, I have to tell you. 
If you're going to do it, don't walk it. It's a long way. Go in a vehicle. Go in like a tractor or something. Uh, you can go all the way to the end of the tunnel, and then it just ends, and there's a sign on the wall that says something like, um, you need to turn back now. The trouble is you can't turn back. You have to reverse all the way back. It's not wide enough to, to turn your vehicle. So bear that one in mind uh, if you want to. It's just a sign. It's not very entertaining, but it's something you can try. Right, now, this bit here, there should be a right turn, and then we're going to go up into some woods, I think. I'm trying to remember where this thing is now. Um, is it down? Actually, it's down here. It's down there, I think. Yes. Yes, 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 it is down here, I think. Let me just go into reverse. Yeah, it's... Um, you follow this little dirt track here. I don't know if this is like a test track or just a waste area. I'm not really sure what this is. Anyway, it should be down here. Let me go left, I think. Yeah, it's like some kind of dirt rally practice track thing. And then, I think it was, it's down in the corner here somewhere. It's an absolute pain to find this thing, and even worse to get it out. There it is. You see it? That thing there. And my truck just stalled for no reason. I've got, I've got the clutch dropped, but there's something about this game, it doesn't recognise the clutch properly. So even though I've got the clutch dropped, I still somehow stole it. It's a bit weird. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is reverse down... Do you want to go that way or that way? It might be easier to go that way. We'll try and go in between those trees if we can. It's kind of like getting paid danger money for this. Also, you notice the truck is sliding. That even makes it worse. It'll keep sliding until you put the handbrake on. Now, we need to get close enough that we can hook it up, but not too close that we can't actually get out. And there's the slide. I want to get down in between that tree, though. But not hit the tree. just want to get to about here somewhere. Okay, let's, uh, let's whack the brake on that. See if we can hook that up. Right, now there should be an attachment point on this thing somewhere. There it is. So we'll hook that up to... You can hear the mosquitoes. So first thing we need to do is get it out onto this dirt track and then we can shorten the rope a little bit. Okay, so apparently I can't get back in my own truck now. Come on, physics? Really? Okay, all right, we'll get in the other side then. Apparently, you're unable to climb in your own truck on a slope. Go figure. My summer physics. All right. Now, I'm going to put the... Wait, is that dev lock on or off? That should be diff lock now. Release the brake and just go for it. Diff lock off. Make a bit of a turn. I'm hoping we've still got it in tow. Let's get it onto the straight bit. Put the parking brake on. Okay, let's have a look how we're doing. Alright, that's not so bad. So we'll just reverse a little bit, and then we can shorten the rope. Uh, if the rope's a bit shorter, then it won't... You know, when we go around bends and stuff, it won't flap around quite as much. Oh my life, that thing keeps closing. My fatigue bar is on red. So we are going to need to sleep soon. Well, ideally, I'd like to let it go uh, dark a little bit. Let's try that. Seriously? Stop sliding now? I 
think that may have rolled back a bit too much now. Oh, that's a pain. What a pain. Okay, let me try... Come on, come on, I had you then. There it is. That's like... Okay, we're going to go before we get eaten. Uh, that's like ridiculously close. But that's what you want. Now this thing is going to flap around in our mirror something nasty. But we're not worried about that. There it is. Get out of driving mode. Okay, because this, this game's weird. If you get in your vehicle when it's on a slope, you end up driving in a leaned position. It's really annoying. Like a lot of things in this game, it's really annoying. Right, now, I don't know what time it is, but it's worth us driving down to the mechanic and seeing if we can catch him open. I very much doubt we'll make it, but at the very least it'll be a nice place to rest anyway. Oh my god, can you see it? Look at it. The thing is, right, when we go around a bend, it's going to do its... It's very best to throw us off the road. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stop a second. Put the parking brake on. Exit driving mode. Get back into driving mode. So that we're not on a slope. Because that makes it harder for me to judge if we're actually tilting or not. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to get on. We're going to focus on what we're doing here. I'm going to I'm going to do the whole journey with you because I don't know what's going to happen. Um when I've done this in the past, sometimes it goes well, other times that thing flings on a bend and takes you with it. So we'll stick with it and see what happens. Oh my god. The thing is right. Like that wreck by the time you got it back to the mechanic would just be a ball of metal. It wouldn't be any use to him whatsoever, but he'll still buy it. <laughs> Look, at Look at the state of it. So whether he's open or not, I think he'll be closed personally. I think it's probably like five, six o'clock now. He's probably shutting his door as we speak. Uh, whatever happens, I'm just going to rest outside the mechanic. We're getting a little bit hungry and thirsty. I mean, one of the, what we could do, if we wanted to, is do a sewage job on the way. <laughs> because we're going to go past a guy's house. But we'd have to... I wonder actually if you need to disconnect the, uh, the wreckage to do a sewage job. You probably need to, just to make it a little bit easier. Actually, it's, it's getting a little bit dark. I may... I may change the plan slightly. I may, um do the sewage job on the way because I'm oh this is the worst bit oh my god that bit is so bad I've come off at that bend before in this truck and it's not fun oh look who's here hey oh oh my god is he dead is he dead did I kill him wait a sec oh my life oh <gasps> We killed him? Dude. Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, the carnage. Oh, my God. I didn't notice the snake thing on his arm before. The snake tattoo. Oh, my life. We must have... When, when he came around the corner we, and he hit his head on, it killed him. I, I'm genuinely shocked. I'm genuinely shocked by this. I don't know what to say. I mean, all I can say is, dude, let, let me just clean your windscreen off for you. I salute you, bro. I'm sorry about that. I'm just washing the windscreen. Trying to clean up the car a bit. Sorry, I've run out. I can't clean the whole car. My apologies, bro. See you next time. Rip. I drove past that and I just saw this, like, blood. 
Oh, I feel so bad. And now I've got to put we're in a sloping driving position again. Hey! We'll have a beer in his honour. Well, it's not just you that can die in this. That is pretty gruesome, though, isn't it? you got to admit, that's pretty gruesome. Let me reset the driving position. Yeah, I think what we'll do is... We'll stop at the first house, because it is getting a bit late. We'll stop at the first house. And we'll do the sewage job. And then... Well, hello. Then we'll save it. Not save it. We'll sleep. Then we'll move up to the mechanic. Drop off the wreckage. Do an another sewage job. And then we'll drive up to the main town. Do another sewage job. And at that point, we're probably going to need some food. Because uh, we've only got one bag of chips. Oh, there we go. So that sounds like a plan. And also, if I don't sleep soon, I'll probably die. I still can't get over that guy. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't even do that intentionally. That's the thing. He came around the corner and I just pushed him out of the way. I can't believe he actually died. Uh, right, let's go straight over here. Yeah, the mechanic will definitely be closed now. Definitely. Let's go straight over here. Uh, if I leave this on the road outside, I think the sewage guy won't be around either. I don't think he'll be outside. We'll see. Problem is, I can end up starting his job, and then he goes to bed, and then doesn't pay me. Oh, he's still there. I am genuinely surprised. Oh, he's done it again, the stupid game. Right, let's disconnect this. I really hope he doesn't go to bed as I'm doing this job because I'll be pretty annoyed if I don't actually get paid. Come on. There we go. Yo, broski! We're here for your muckski. Let's turn it around a little bit. That should be enough. Let's leave the engine running. There goes the bottle. Let's get the... Are you still awake, pal? Don't you go anywhere. Don't you go to bed before I've done this. Because I want pain. Where's the end? Where's the end? Yeah, that's definitely full. Never empty one of these things unless it's completely full. Because if you do, you won't get paid. It's that annoying. Come on, keep going. There we go. And pump. You stay there, pal. You better not be saying I'm going to bed or something. I'm going to stand here. Because the moment... Oh my god, have you got a stain? What the heck? Dude. Dude, seriously. You need to go and change your trousers, man. That's pretty horrendous. I mean, your arms are bad enough, but what the heck, bro? Oh my god. You disgust me. You really do. <laughs> oh man. Just pay me, I can go. I can smell you from here. I don't know what smells worse, you or that thing. You don't mind if I just have a tinkle on the lawn, do you? No? Good. Oh, sorry, he's got a new foot. I wonder what time he goes to bed. 
I reckon it's about 8 p.m. I think they arrive about they they, they kind of come out about 10 a.m. I think. Come on, hurry up. Is that pipe extended? Yes, it is. Just pay me, bro. Just pay me and then I can go. It's not worth hooking that up before I sleep because it may disconnect it. I don't know. It would definitely disconnect it if I saved. I'm not sure if it disconnects it if I sleep. Yes, 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 yes. We got paid. Oh yeah, we got paid. Okay, let's pull forward a little bit, very slowly. It's important to do this slowly, because if you do it too quickly, uh, the pipe will snap out. But if we do it slowly, then we can get the pipe mostly out of the ground, which makes it a heck of a lot easier. Because it is heavy, and it falls under its own weight, so if you, if you do this, then... It just means you've got a lot less pipe to haul out of there. Like that. Makes it so much easier. Come on. Up you get. Okay. Lid on. Yeah, we need to sleep now. We really do. If we don't sleep now, we're very much risking dying. Okay, door is shut. I'm sure this bro won't mind if we just sleep outside of his house for a while. We'll just sleep here. Seems like a nice spot to rest. Okay, parking brake is on, engine is off. Now, we're not that hungry, but I'll have a beer. Cool. Right. Move the hammer out of the way. I don't really want to sleep on that. Well, good night, peeps. Ay, 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 ay. I love the fact that you can sleep in the truck now. It's just beautiful. Okay. We wake up. We're pretty hungry. So let's have a potato chip and a beer. Probably going to need to have another beer. Let's have some Odomos. Those mosquitoes in summer, eh? What a nightmare. Right. Let's get that engine warming up. Is it me, or is everything floating? It look, It's like when you're in space... You know, you see the footage when they're in the space stations, and there's no gravity, and everything's just kind of floating around. It kind of looks like that. It's a bit weird. Nice! Let's line up. And we're going to go to the mechanic, where we can actually drop this thing off. But we won't be able to sell it to him, I don't think, because he won't be open. Okay, that's a bit weird. It's going to be hard to judge exactly where to stop. Let's try that. Um, that'll do, actually. we we'll just lean over and grab. Come on. Come on, Pixel. There it is. And I think it was down here somewhere. That'll do. Close that. It's good though that we're doing all this like work, you know, but we know why we're doing it. That's what I like. The game has purpose. 
Like, I want to upgrade my car so I can enter a rally, and that's why I'm doing these stupid jobs. Now, hopefully, the guy in the green car... Um, actually, no, because we only slept, we didn't save it. When we save it, he'll reset, but when we sleep, I don't think he will. So he's probably still dead in his car. And probably has more mosquitoes than I do right now. I didn't even know his name. Apparently he's your friend, though. Even though he kills you, he's your friend. <laughs> Go figure. There it is, so flapping around. Uh, yeah, that's the woodcuttery place. So we're going to go past that. Two thousand eight hundred. How much do we need? Five, six uh, k, wasn't it? By the time we've done a sewage job and we get paid for this, we'll have enough money. We won't have enough money with just the sewage jobs, though, for the uh, mechanic purchases that we've got. Actually, not the mechanic, the um, the mail order. Oh, God. Oh, God. Once this thing starts to go, that weight will take you with it. Oh, you see it flapping around. It's basically a weight off the back of your truck that is continuously moving left and right, and it throws the back of the truck out. And if you start to catch a bit of a slope, that weight will happily take you with it. And before you know what's happening, you're sideways in the middle of a tree. Like this bit here is going to be... I'm going to take my time around here. Because I don't want to end up in that water. There we go. Slow and steady. Catch a quick bit. Tried to throw it out the window, but apparently the window's closed. It's going to be good just to get rid of this weight, even if we don't get paid for it. Um, right, now then, in terms of dropping it off, let's just stop here a second. Um, I could try... So you've got to be careful with these ditches, they're a bit of a pain. Uh, you know what, I think he's finished repair work, look. Can you see the panel's been done? Can you see that? Because now it needs resprained, that means he's finished the repair. Uh, let's put that on a sec. Uh, hmm. Let's go forward a little bit more. I just want to make sure it's in position. There we go. Because it needs to be on his front, otherwise he won't uh, he won't pay you for it. That should be fine, I reckon. Remove that. I'll just go and check. I don't think it'll be open. I think that probably says rally day I'm not open or something. Uh, oh, hang on. 8 a.m. till 4. He is open. Open Monday to something. 8 till 4. Monday to... Well, it must be Saturday. It must say must Monday to Saturday. Maybe he's open six days a week and not seven. Um... Is it me? Or does he look a bit broken right now? <laughs> That's not right, is it? That's not right at all. You know what I think is going on? I think because the car is ready, and because I've delivered this as well, the game's freaking out. Oh, look at that roll cage! Look at the cage, guys. And a new... Look at that, new fender. That's still an absolute mess, isn't it? That subframe. Is that the subframe or is that the... That's the grill. Yeah, I think maybe a frame repair is what I'd need to get that done. Actually, that back end is not... Is not 
uh, exactly good, is it? Left fender. The rear left fender, I think it is. I think we need to get a frame repair. Let me have a look at the price list. Um... Maybe if we get him to do this, then it might trigger him into buying that thing off us. Because I think it's broken right now. Fender left, fender right, hood, boot lid, bumper front, bumper rear, car body. 8,700. Oh my god. Because that's the whole lot, I think. What's back here? Wheel alignment, brake check and repair, engine repair, engine adjustment, motor tuning, windshield, roll cage install. Yeah, I think that is basically all of this. Hood, boot lid. I don't think any of these, maybe that one would fix it, I'm not sure. Bumper rear. Let's get that done. Hey, you can take my Ferndale, which is already back at your house. That guy is freaking out. That guy is 100% broken. I've broken him, guys. What's annoying is I've done this job and I'm not even sure I'm going to get paid for it. We can try moving a little bit. I don't think it's going to make any difference. But, you know, just in case it's not... It's not picking up that it's on his drive. <laughs> oh my god! What the heck was that? I thought I was going to die. I genuinely thought I was going to die then. I was like, no! I've done so much. Um, hmm. Well, you're broken, aren't you, mate? So, okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea, guys, to try and fix this. It may or may not work. I, I think we could be looking at not being paid here. I think I found a bug in the game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try saving the game. Now, saving the game will often reset things. And maybe it will fix the problem. Maybe. There's no guarantee, but there is a save point around here. All right. There's also a convenient place that you can get rid of any excess body fluid as well. Uh, so I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to see if this has fixed it. There's no guarantees here, but it's the best shot we've got. Because right now it's broken. So yeah, that could be four, three, four grand down the swan. All right, so catch you in a minute. Right, I've saved it. I don't know what's changed, if anything, but let's go and have a look at the uh, mechanic and see if anything's changed with him. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, eh? What's that going to be in future? I reckon you can buy that in the future and uh, upgrade it. All right, so the dude's not the dude is not actually here now, which is very interesting. Saturday, ten till six. Hmm. Opens eight till four. It could be that I arrived between eight and ten. I arrived in that window when he's still open. Possibly. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come back this way, I think. Um, mm. Yeah, because if that... I can leave this here, right? I can leave this here. What I can do is do a sewage job. We can head up to town, do another sewage job, grab some food, uh, make our way back home. On Monday, we can bring, like, the repair work that we just requested... Uh, should now be should be done by tomorrow or Monday. We can then drive back in the American thing, pick this thing up, and hopefully he'll give us money for that because he's not he's not paid for it yet, and it'll still be sat there. So hopefully that'll be fine. I don't know if it will. It could be that we've just hit a bug and paid the price for it quite literally. 
But maybe it'll kind of figure it out. I don't know. We'll see. We can still get money from, from wood and stuff, even if we don't get paid for that wreck it was interesting to do. Just need to be careful with this, because the turning circle on this is not the best. Okay, let's let the glow plugs warm up again. Come on. I don't know why the truck behaves so weird like this. It's really irritating. Like, each time you have to use the glow plug warm-up, every time. <laughs> I've got my foot on the throttle a little bit to try and get it going. Let me, I'm just going to try it with no throttle. Okay. Maybe we'll just do that in future. Let's give it some welly. We're sliding. Should be... Probably about there, I reckon. Let's go and have a quick look. Won't be far off. We may have overshot it. Oh, no, it's fine. Absolutely fine. Is it full? Yes, it's full. So we got another one right. I think I might... Um, I think I might have a party in town. Given that it's Saturday night coming up, I think we might have to have a party in town. We've got the sledgehammer as well, so we could have fun with Mr. Wub Wub on Saturday night. We could go in the bar and get wrecked. <laughs> oh, wrong one. We could go in the bar and get wrecked, and because um, we can sleep in the truck as long as we buy some food and drink and leave it in the in the truck, we'll be okay. We can have a great time. What do you think, bro? Should we have a party on Saturday? Maybe we can arm wrestle Mr. Wub Wub in the pub. Still annoyed about that. I definitely bugged out. Yos L T Toyota L two Verhita. Somebody tell me what that meant was, I can't remember now. It's something about working. Dude, do you not actually get bored just sitting here? Like, it's not the best for you. I'm sure you get things happen. Like, maybe now and again the green car comes past. Oh, by the way, did you know he's dead? <gasps> Shocked expression. Pursed lips. Not bothered. <laughs> Look at his lips. Look how, how pursed are those lips. Attitude. <laughs> Come on, bro. Pay me, and then I can go. Got things to do. Got a Saturday afternoon work to do and then a Saturday night to look forward to. We're gonna have me some fun. Oh yeah. If I sit here when he's paid, he might suddenly do a U-turn. Look <laughs> Oh that's brilliant. Thank you. Oh that was class. I'm very happy with your work. I couldn't do any better. Mostly because I don't have one of those trucks. I want to sound like Kermit. Uh, actually, I need to drive forward. My bad. Get in. There we go. Right. Nice and steady. OK, 
Come on, keep going. Hopefully should do it. Okay, might be a bit of a struggle. We'll see. Nice. We'll put the lid on because, you know, we wouldn't want any accidents to befall. We've already had one death recently in this town. We don't need another. Normally it's me that's dying in this game. Okay. Release the brake. Do you know the other thing as well? It's just occurred to me. By the time we get up there on Saturday night, we'll have at least 7,500 litres of poop. And, well, you know, Mr. Woodward might be there. Drunken Saturday night things may happen. Just saying. You never know what's going to happen when you get drunk and you're in charge of a 7,500 litre poop truck. And there's a guy in a yellow car who's annoying you. Who knows what events might befall us? Wait, this thing's getting really heavy. Axle down. Because we saved it, it reset the axle. And because it reset the axle, it starts bouncing around something nasty. I think we'll top up the fuel as well when we get there. We've already burned a quarter of a tank, which in this is like, I think a full tank is about a hmm, thousand, eleven hundred, maybe. So that's equivalent to at least three hundred marks, maybe four hundred. It's quite a bit. All comes out the profit. Yeah, this is the route you go by the way when you're doing the rally. You come all the way down here. Luckily, like, this final section is... I kind of see it as split into three sections. This is, like, the third section. This is fast rolling hills. Uh, the first section is very twisty and tight and turny. The second one has got things that will catch you out. The third one has got long rolling straights where you can just floor it mostly. But it will catch you out. Like, when I did it, I, I think I spun out down here somewhere. But look at this, you can just gun it through here. It is fun though. Okay, now... The third wreck, not that we're going to get the third wreck, but the third wreck is... Um, on the right down here somewhere. I think it's to the right down there. In there, I think. I'm not 100% on the third one. I think it's in that shed, though. Like, this is where I spun out, just on this bit, I think. I just lost it and spun there. And then carried on and came second. It was hilarious. That's how fast I was going. Whoa, whoa, steady on. Yeah, this is a tricky bit as well. This is the final bend, I think, before the, the finish line. Because it's Saturday, we'll actually see the finish line. But yeah, you come down through here. There's the kind of finish post there that we just went through, if you saw the flags. And then race ends, and then you come down here. See, there's the new running track. Who knows what that running track is for? I have no idea. Look at it. This is put in, in the last... Why is that stolen? That doesn't make any sense. I was in neutral. So it's got a running track and a football pitch. And nothing to do yet. So what's he got planned? Who knows? There's a guy over there. Look, I think he might want... Um Actually, is it him that wants emptying or this guy here? Yeah, so what's all this about? I 
I don't think he added it just for a bit of fun. I think he must have added it with purpose. You see, I didn't give it any throttle in it, and it just won't start. Let's give it a bit of welly. It's crazy. Like, I swear it gets into a bugged state, and it won't start for a bit. I don't know why. Like, the glow plugs are off. The engine temperature is still pretty warm. This thing should just start. Like, why won't it start? It doesn't make any sense. What the heck? It's bugged? It actually thought I was in gear. Did you see that? Bottom right, it said I was in gear, even though I wasn't. That's why it wouldn't start. It said I was in six high, but I put it into neutral. That's weird. Well, that explains why it stalled. Even though I'd put it in neutral, it didn't recognise it. Hmm, okay. Live and learn. Right, I don't know if this guy wants emptying or not. I'm going to pull up on the drive. I think he does, but I need to check the sewage level first, so I'll pull up and check the, uh, the lid first. But if he does, then it's just easy money, because we're already here. Let's have a look, mate. Oh, you're pretty full. You're pretty full, aren't you, Mr. Flower? Let's see if we can't sort that out for you, pal. Come on, in you go. Um, that may not be far enough back, you know. Let's, let's knock it back a little touch. Should do it. Go on, that's it. Straighten up. Beautiful. Now, while that's going on, I'm going to have a beer. Tastes better with that smell. Yeah, so that there is where you go to get your result when you finish. It'll tell you how you've done and how everybody else did. Not that you see anybody else racing, and no, you don't see real scores from real people. Um, it just kind of makes up some AI scores, but you don't get to see them racing. But it is fun. And you do get paid pretty well. Oh, nice. That They're lovely, mate. I'm really into those. I don't remember Adidas making trainers like that in the 80s, to be honest. Or the 90s. Sorry, beg your pardon, the 90s. White socks was an 80s thing. This man's stuck in the 80s, I believe. That's a lovely top, mate. It's, it's so fetching. I, I especially love the low V-neck. <laughs> Why is it? Everybody in this town has got a receding hairline and, and a beard. Although this guy is actually not as fat as the other ones. He's actually quite slim. Bit of a beer belly going on, but not much. Look, right across the knee, mate. Didn't even... Okay, Sorry, hang on. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Thanks. You're very happy. Good for you, pal. At least it won't stain the shirt. You'll never tell. Let's whack that off. No. No. Pull it forward a bit. Let's have a look at the meat at the dial. Oh, look at that! 
almost 10,000 litres. We must have already had some in. We are basically full. Like, we can't even empty anybody else now. We have to... Um, we have to empty our waste somewhere. Let's put that on there for health and safety reasons. Why are you still looking at me, bro? I'm just doing my job, man. Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. I'll sue you, now. Nice. Alright, we better buy some supplies from town. Wow, this thing's heavy now. Yeah, so you just you just drive here, you go to the desk there, and I'll give you results. Hey, I can see Mr. Wub Wub. There he is. Alright, let's pull over here and fill up on diesel while we're here. Diesel nozzle or derv, whatever you want to call it. I think derv stands for diesel engine road vehicle. That's why it's called derv. They call it derv in the military quite a bit, I think. So, Saturday night, right? I'm going to buy some food and drink now. And I'm going to stay here in the truck. And we're going to wait for Saturday evening, and then we're going to have some fun. We're going to have a drunken mess, because I need to kill time, quite frankly. Mechanic will only open on Monday. So I need to kill some time. So we may as well get rid of Saturday and Sunday. Then the vehicle will be fixed, and um, hopefully I can sell that scrap. Hopefully you'll buy it, and it's not bugged out completely. I'll be a bit annoyed if it is. It takes so long to fill this thing. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping Mr. I'm sure Mr. Wubble will be here on Saturday night. I think they need faster pumps in this game. It takes so long, oh my god. Actually, is that going up now? Is it me or is that... Is that actually going up? It's so hard to tell. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Crikey. I thought it was being billed for nothing then. Nearly done. I reckon this is going to be about... There we go. About four or five hundred possibly. For that. I mean, that's the thing about the uh, the sewage jobs. Like, you get paid 1200 but you've got to think about how much fuel you actually burn. It's ridiculous. Hey! Oh, we've, we've got a five grand bill that we can't afford yet. Lol! There's the bus. So I did put the order through. That answers that question. Tourists don't buy milk. They buy beer and milk goes sour. That's how it goes, I guess. Hello, Mr. Busnapper. Good to know you've not been put out of business yet. It's great that you're still operating. You freak. You can't even look at me, can you, pal? Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. You busnapper. Weirdo. Right. So we can't afford to buy our seats and stuff. 400 marks for the fuel, so we'll do that. Right, now we're going to need some stuff here. I'm going to buy a couple of crates of that. And we need some more mozzie spray, don't we? Two, two of those will do. We don't need any more. Um, we'll buy some, let's see. 
Juice concentrate's not good yet until he makes that thing in the game where you can make your own beer or wine or whatever it is he's doing. Yeast the same, we don't need that yet. Uh, we could buy some milk. Milk brings up thirst and food levels a little bit, so it's kind of useful. It's pretty cheap, that's the thing. It's kind of good if you're out and about, let me put it that way. So let's buy some of them. Uh, we'll have a couple of packets of chips. We'll have some pizza. Some sausage. That'll do. We'll have to come back for that, pal. I haven't got enough money yet. The problem is, of course, is the moment I save the game, this thing will explode in the back of the truck. But that can't really be helped. Also, like, if you notice my dirt in this bar is maxed out. There is no way to clean yourself in this game except at the sauna, which is at your house or your, or your little shack. There's literally nowhere else to do it. I love how you can do that. You can hold you can hold a beer in your left hand whilst carrying a crate with your mind. Put that in that. That guy stays there for so long. I'm not surprised. He just he just basically sits there until somebody's stupid enough to get on his bus and then he'll take them for a ride. Okay, you can go over there. You can stay here. You can go over there. Let's have another beer. Right, to summarise, we have done three poop jobs. Um, three poop jobs is what we've done. We've taken the salvage over to the mechanic, but he's not paid us. It's currently Saturday, probably about midday. And I need to burn through the weekend so that we can kind of continue. Now, I could go back to the house and chop up wood and things like this. But I think what I'm going to do... Yes, you, pal. I'm going to wait until Saturday evening. And then we're going to have some fun. We're going to have a... You don't have better things to do but smell bad. Let me just clean your wheel for you, bro. This guy's quite aggressive. So yeah, I'm going to hold out for Saturday evening and then we're going to have a blast. That's what we're going to do. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. Happy driving.